Hello, everyone. I'm here today to talk about all of the super fun things I'm going to read in December. I'm kind of sad that it's almost the end of the year. I mean, I got a ton of reading done this year. Right now, I'm sitting at like 97 books for the year. So I'll definitely break 100. But I just want to... I don't know. I'm having a hard time grasping the time that's flying by. I think that has something to do with being in your mid-twenties. Quarter-life crisis, I think they call it. So, this is my semi-ambitious but not too over-the-top TBR for December. Um, as you know, if you watch my November TBR video, I'm trying to read one collection of short stories, one nonfiction book, and one classic every month. So I will start with those. The nonfiction I've chosen for this month is This is the Story of a Happy Marriage by Ann Patchett. Um, if you've been around, you've seen a bunch of people raving about this. I think it's going to be really good. It looks really good. It's not too long. I've tried to read Ann Patchett's... Those are my cats. I've tried to read Ann Patchett's fiction before, but didn't love it. So I'm going to give this a go. I've heard it's great. It can't hurt to try. And that'll be my nonfiction read for December. Um, the short stories I picked up this month, this isn't a collection by one author, but by many, and this is the Everyman's Pocket Classics uh, Christmas Stories collection. And these editions are so cute. These are adorable. They all are different colors underneath, and they look really pretty. And they all have these colored spines, and they all have fancy... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, book. They all have fancy built-in bookmarks. Um, in this collection, it's just classic stories about Christmas from authors such as... Author Conan Doyle and Willa Cather, some Nabokov, a little bit of Truman Capote, and an Alice Munro story. So I think this is going to be really fun. I'm just going to dip in, in and out of this throughout the month and probably more so towards the Christmas season. Which, if you live in the U.S., the Christmas season started like two months ago anyway, so whatever. And I actually have two classics picked for this month. The first one is... Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. I have faked my way through this book in so many high school and college classes. It's unbelievable that I have never actually read it in its entirety. It is not that long. Mark Twain is a southern U.S. writer. I live in the south. I should have read this by now. I have not. And it's currently the book that has been on my physical TBR the longest. So... I would like to knock that out and read that this month. And then another classic that I shamefully have not read yet is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. And Leslie from Words of a Reader and Claire. Oh my god, I almost forgot her name. Claire from Reading Bukowski are doing a Little Women read-along in December. And I will link down to both of their announcement videos below. So I'm going to join in on that. I don't know if I'm going to love this. I hear that it's like very sugary sweet and all that, but I'm going to give it a go. I usually like like grittier, darker novels, but I think it'll be fun. It shouldn't be too difficult to get through and I'm just going to do it. Plus I have this gorgeous edition. Look at it. It's so pretty. I've had a really long week. I don't even know. I think having a job where I have to talk to people all week is really, really bad for me. Because I start to lose my marbles. Like, I can't speak sentences. Any, like, sentences get really hard for me. Obviously. After that, I have some good old literary fiction. I guess this is historical fiction, technically. I don't know. I haven't read it yet, so I don't know. It is The Reader by Bernard Schlink. This is, I do believe it is historical fiction. I think it's set um, in or around World War II. It is a 
story of a young man who falls in love with a much, much older woman. Oh my God, my cats are losing their minds. I don't even know if you can hear that. They just like crashed into the aluminum blinds on my window. This is why I can't have nice things. Anyway, this is the reader. I'm gonna read this this month. I've also been in the mood for some Murakami lately. Um, I last read Norwegian Wood in September, so it's been like a whole two months since I've read any Murakami. And I have Hard Boiled Wonderland and the End of the World. I think this is gonna be really fun. I have no idea what it's about. I don't wanna know what it's about because it's Murakami and I just think it's best to go in blindly. And also, I don't even know how anyone writes a blurb for a Murakami book ever because how could you possibly in like a paragraph describe what his books are about? So I don't read the blurbs. I just read the books. And they're great. And I'm excited to read some more Murakami. And I have one more book planned. Um, the booktube reading buddies this month are reading The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafón. And I've already read that and I really, really liked it. So I'm not going to reread it, but I am going to read the second book in the trilogy, which is called The Angel's Game. This, I got this, look, I got this hardcover for one dollar at a thrift shop. One of my local thrift shops sells all of their books for one dollar, which is really dangerous. You shouldn't, you shouldn't go there. Um, but look how pretty this is underneath. It's books on books. I kind of want to get rid of the dust jacket, but the dust jacket's cool too because it doesn't cover the whole cover. There's like, you can move it up or move it down. So yeah, I'm going to read this. I'm really excited to continue on the series. I read the first book over a year ago though, so I might have to uh, spark notes it real quick to remember what what all happened. Though I think the series doesn't necessarily follow the same characters. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. This is the weirdest TBR video that's ever happened. Oh, and I'm also going to finish Hard Times by Charles Dickens and Tess of the Durbervilles by Thomas Hardy because I have to finish this. And I talk about them in my November wrap-up so you can watch that. I think that's all I'm going to try to read. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven books. I usually read between seven and nine books a month, but I don't like to tie myself down too much. I like to, if I get all this done, I'll like to have a little wiggle room or feel like if halfway through the month something's not grabbing me, I can pick up something completely different. So I got a good, good variety here and I'm pretty happy with it. So yeah, tell me all about your December reading plans. Is anyone doing anything super ambitious to finish out their year? I would love to hear about it because I'm not really. I'm just going to read more books. Um, and I'll be back soon with some fun end of year videos, probably. You know, the sorts. And my goals for 2015 will be coming up soon as well. As soon as I figure out what the hell they're going to be. Because I don't know yet. And that's all. See you later. Bye.